Yes, like Coach Shea said, hello, my name is Christina. I'm a yoga instructor. We focus on vinyasa or flow yoga. Um, so today we're going to work on from the ground up, flows and some static postures as well to kind of help you stretch out the body and prepare you for your athletic life. So we'll start just on our backs today. So go ahead and make your way down to the to the ground, extend those legs out to the bottom of the mat, slowly roll it down, taking the hands to the sides, palms facing up. Just gently close those eyes. We're gonna take five nice deep breaths just to ground the body, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. We'll start by interlacing those fingers over the belly, reaching those palms over the head, pointing those toes, arching the back, really just growing. And then exhale as you pull those knees into the chest, grabbing opposite wrists, rocking side to side, maybe massaging that back on the mat. And then changing that rock and roll to forward and back, making your way to a nice, easy seated pose, crisscross applesauce. And then rolling over those knees, taking the hands to the mat and coming into your tabletop position. So your hips are over the knees, your shoulders are over the wrists. Nice straight arms, taking a nice deep inhale, gaze comes up to the ceiling. Exhale, push the mat away with the tops of your feet and the hands, tucking that chin in. Inhale up. And exhale down. One more time, inhale up. And then finding a nice neutral gaze, curl those toes under, lift the hips and the knees off the mat. Exhale, release into your downward facing dog. Just bending alternating knees, really working into those hamstrings. And then inhale, high on your tippy toes. You're gonna shift your weight forward so the shoulders come over in front of the wrists and exhale, release those heels back down to the mat, downward facing dog. Let's do that again. Inhale, roll the body forward onto the toes. Take the shoulders in front of the wrists. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna shift our weight forward, come into a high plank position. Tucking that tailbone under, nice strong core, squeezing the glutes. We're gonna exhale, slowly bring the chest down to the mat. Elbows nice and tight into the rib cage. Bring the chest all the way down to the mat. Uncurl those toes. Fingertips should be underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift the chest, cobra and exhale. Chest comes back down to the mat, curl the toes under, lift yourself, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe. In through the nose, out through the nose. Let's do that again. Roll the body forward, high plank. Exhale, slowly bring that chest all the way down to the mat. Uncurl the toes, inhale. Chest off the mat, really squeezing that back. And exhale, chest to the mat, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna inhale, look to those hands at the front of the mat and bring our feet to meet our hands at the front. Bend your knees a lot, rest that chest on the thigh. Bring elbows and just kind of hang here, ragdoll. There should be no tension in the posterior legs, so relaxing the hamstrings in the lower back. Taking the jaw, moving it side to side, releasing the tension in the cervical spine and the neck. And then release the hands, take the hands to the hips, slowly roll it up to a nice standing posture. Crown of the head is the last thing that comes up. Exhale, release the palms facing forward. So we'll start with our sun salutation A. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms to touch. Get some lateral bending in. So take the right hand to the left wrist, then to the right. Inhale, reach through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, reach through center. We're gonna swan dive forward on that exhale. Take those arms nice and wide, bring them to the ground or to the shins, forward fold. Inhale up halfway, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands. Step one foot back and the other. Take a vinyasa. So vinyasa is a high plank to a low plank, keeping those elbows nice and tight. 
Inhale, pull that chest through center, up dog. Exhale, curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Breathe. Let's do that again. Inhale, look towards the hands. Exhale, step walker, float those feet forward. Inhale up, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Bring those arms over the head, palms to touch. Start with those side bends to the right on the exhale. Inhale, reach through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, reach center. Exhale, swan dive forward. Hands come down to the mat or to your shins. Forward fold. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands. Step walker, float the feet back. High plank to low plank. If you need to, drop those knees. Lift the heels. Exhale as you bring that chest down to the ground. A little modification if we can't do that push-up yet. Inhale for that cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Active recovery. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose in our downward facing dog. One more time, still warming up that body. Inhale, look towards those hands. Exhale, step walker, float the feet forward. Inhale up halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, palms to touch. Exhale to the right. Inhale, reach through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive forward. Really opening that front body as you fold, forward, fold. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, plant those hands. Step the feet back. Exhale, slowly lower to that chaturanga or low plank. Inhale, pull that chest through for up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. This time we're going to inhale, look towards those hands. Exhale, step walker, float the feet forward. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Bringing those hands over the head. Exhale, sink those hips down into your chair pose. So we're starting sun salutation B. The weight is in our heels. We should be able to lift all 10 toes. We're going to exhale, release that right arm. Take it back. Maybe you take the gaze with that thumb. Inhale, reach through center. Keep the hips low. Exhale, left. Inhale, reach through center. Maybe you gaze up and then we're gonna exhale, release the feet, release the hands, forward fold. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, high plank to low plank, or you can always drop those knees for the modification as you bring the chest towards the ground. Inhale up, exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna extend that right leg behind for three-legged dog, keeping those hips nice and square. We're gonna step the right foot through the hands, connect the left heel to the mat. The left toe should be pointed 45 degrees to that up, upper left corner. Inhale, reach the arms up, biceps by the ears, warrior one. That right knee should be bent, not super in front of the ankle, but just right on top. We're gonna to inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, open the hips. Take the left foot parallel to the back of the mat. Release the arms to the front and back. Warrior two. Breathe. <clears throat> We're going to inhale. Come to the toes of that left foot. Face the center. And then drop that left hand. Reach the right arm up for dragonfly twist. Our hips are closed. We're on the toes of that left foot. And we'll take that right hand down. On the outside of the right foot, step the right foot back and take a vinyasa. So that's high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a recovery breath in through the nose, out through the nose. And we'll walk through that on the left. Hands behind, three-legged dog. Step the left foot between the hands. Connect the right heel to the mat this time. Pointed 45 degrees to that upper right corner. Lift the arms, biceps by the ears. Bellies are nice and tight. Warrior one. Then we'll inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, open the arms, open the hips. Right foot comes parallel to the back of the mat. Making sure we're not leaning forward or leaning back, but the, we're pulling right down the center. So you might need to take a wider stance. 
strong arms. Take an inhale. And as we exhale, we'll come to the toes of the right foot, drop the right hand down, and we'll reach that left arm up, dragon side twist. And take a vinyasa, left hand comes down, step that foot back, high plank to low plank. Inhale through up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale, look toward those hands. Exhale, step walker, float the feet forward. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep those arms up, sink those hips back, starting in that chair pose. We're gonna go through sun salutation B one more time with the breath. So exhale, release the right arm. Inhale through center. Exhale, left. Inhale, reach through center. Exhale, fold forward, release those legs, release those hands forward fold inhale up halfway exhale plant the hands step the feet back high plank to low plank on that exhale inhale upwards facing dog exhale downward facing dog right foot extends behind step it through rise up warrior one remember that left heel connects biceps by the ears take a breath reaching the arms up exhale as you open warrior two inhale Exhale, dragonfly twist. Come onto the toes of the left foot. Left hand comes down, right arm is up. And vinyasa, right hand comes down. Step the right foot back. High plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. And the left foot extends behind. Step the left foot through. Right heel hits the mat. Rise up, warrior one. Inhale, reach the arms, exhale, open. Right foot comes parallel to the back of the mat, warrior two. Take a breath. And exhale, drop the right hand, come on the toes of the right foot. So we're closing those hips, reach that left arm up. Dragonfly twist. And take a vinyasa, left hand comes down, left foot steps back, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog, exhale. Downward facing dog, three breaths in through the nose out through the, through the nose. So we're gonna take a little break here. We're gonna to drop to the knees. Knees to touch, big toes to touch, sink those hips back. Walking those arms out, connecting the forehead to the mat for a child's pose. Just closing those eyes, turning that focus to the breath. Calming the mind, calming the heart rate. We're gonna shift our weight forward, coming to that tabletop um, position. Curl those toes under, lift the hips up, exhale, downward facing. And then we're just gonna step our feet forward and slowly roll it up to standing. Maybe shake out those legs. Come into some balancing postures this time. So we're just gonna rock front to back from our heels to our toes. We feel like we've got, you know, covered, we feel the mat on all of our foot. You're gonna shift your weight back to your heels and lift all 10 toes and then place them down one at a time onto the mat. You're gonna shift your way over to that left foot, take the hands to the hips, and then just bring that right knee up in front of you. Depending on how advanced we are, holding it right here, simply just focusing on that balance, the strength of that standing leg, or you can kick that leg out, pulling the toes towards the shin, <clears throat> holding it here. Lifting that leg higher, higher, and higher. We're gonna come back to a bent knee if your leg is straight. We're gonna take the left hand to the outside of the right knee and then extend the right hand behind for a little bit balancing twist here. Maybe you can take your gaze with that right thumb. Nice strong core.
one more nice deep inhale and exhale come back through center exhale release the foot shake out the legs we'll start again by rocking from heel to toe just to kind of set up that um, really good grounding when you're set weight is in the heels place all ten toes down one at a time Feeling them go into the mat. Shift your weight over to the right foot. Take the hands to the hips as you slowly bring that right knee up. Holding it here, or if you'd like to kick it out, you might be stronger, weaker, tighter, looser, depending on the side. So just feel your body. Work on that balance. actively contracting that bottom leg and the top leg. We're gonna bend that knee on the left side. Take the right hand to the outside of that left knee. Extend the left hand behind. Keep the gaze front if we're really just working on that balance. And maybe you can slowly eventually take the head and turn to look to that left thumb. And inhale and come through center. Exhale, release that foot to the mat. Shake it out. <clears throat> come to the front of the mat. We'll do a couple standing postures, holding, um, sorry, static postures. So we're just going to step that left foot back. Stay on the toes of the left foot. We're going to come into a high lunge position. So take the biceps by the ears, reaching those fingertips up, <clears throat> making sure that the right knee doesn't go too far forward over that ankle. And we're really trying to get that stretch in the front part of the left leg. So hold it here. Maybe try and pull that heel towards the back of the room. Really stretching out that posterior section as well. Inhale. And then we're going to exhale, drop to the left knee. We're going to sit ourselves back. So stay on the toes of that left foot. Bring our hips close to that left heel. Toes of the right foot pointed up. And we're gonna inhale, lengthen the spine. So really lifting from the top of the head like there's a string. And then fold forward, getting those hamstrings. Hold it here. We're gonna walk our hands forward, <clears throat> staying on the knee of that left foot, and we're gonna lean into, allowing the right knee to come in front of that ankle, which is fine. Uncurl the toes on that left side and hold it here, really pushing forward on that left hip. Taking the gaze forward. As your chest is close to that right thigh, you're going to curl the toes of the left foot under and we're going to lean back one more time. This time we're going to try and keep the angle of that left knee at 90 degrees and our chest on our thigh on that right side. We'll just walk our hands forward one more time into that low runner's lunge you might need to shift your weight just a little bit moving that left knee back so we can get a little bit deeper gaze forward and from here we're going to step our left foot to meet our right and then heel toe our feet as wide as the mat is and we're going to sink our hips in between our knees, taking our elbows to the insides and connecting our hands, pushing our knees out. And what I'd like to say is bring your heart to your hands, not your hands to your heart. So hands are out here, lifting the chest forward, pushing those knees out with the elbows. Nice long spine, breathe. And take the hands, release them to the mat. Slowly roll up to a nice standing posture. We'll go ahead and just shake those legs out. We'll do the same thing on that left side. 
So left foot is in front, we'll step the right foot back, starting in that high lunge position. On the toes of that right foot, nice wide stance, taking the arms up, biceps by the ears. Hold it here. And then dropping to that right knee, sitting those hips back as you leave the toes curled on that right foot. This time the toes come up towards the ceiling on the left. Walk those hands out, leaning forward. And we'll shift our weight forward, coming into that low runner's lunge. Uncurl those toes on that right side, on the fingertips, or maybe depending on how flexible you are, maybe you come up and take the hands to the knee. Still pushing forward on that right hip flexor. Curl the toes under on that right foot. Remember, we're trying to keep as we shift our weight back, hold that 90 degree angle on that right side and keep that chest as flat as we can on the left side. Toes are on the mat. And last runner's lunge, shift that weight forward. Maybe you can get a little bit deeper into this posture. Keeping those toes uncurled, gaze is up, facing forward. And curl the toes under on that right foot, step that right foot forward. Again, heel toe those feet out as wide as the mat. Take those elbows inside the knees, sitting those hips down. Trying to elongate the spine as much as you can. Heart to hands, three breaths. And taking the hands down to the mat. This time we're gonna step one foot back and the other staying in our high plank position. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Release the hips to the back of the room, downward facing dog. Extend the right leg behind. Inhale, pull the right knee in towards that right wrist. Place it down on the mat. Extending that left foot out, uncurl the toes. So we're coming into our pigeon pose. <clears throat> we're gonna inhale, look up, open the chest, and then exhale, taking the arms down. I will give an alternative for this. If we have knee pain or some type of injury that's allowing, not allowing us to do this, you can switch over on your back. Keep the left leg bent, cross that right ankle over, reach the right hand through the window, pull that left leg forward. So this is sleeping pigeon versus the regular pigeon, whichever you prefer to do. And we're just gonna hold it here, really sinking into the posture. Remember, discomfort is okay when we're stretching, pain is not. So just know um, where you can push yourself. One more nice, even inhale and an exhale. We're gonna come back to our hand palms. We're gonna sweep that left leg in front. Keep that right knee bent. The sole of the right foot comes to the inside of that left thigh. Inhale, reach the arms up and we'll exhale, fold forward. No pulling or tugging here. We're just really folding forward, allowing the body to release, that's the uh, lower back to release, hamstrings to release into this nice forward fold. From here, walk the hands up the leg, take the right knee up, 
we're going to come into a, a little bit of a twist here. So the sole of the right foot is on the mat. We're going to step the right foot over the left. Bend the left knee so the left heel comes close to the hind, sitting up nice and straight. So if you need to readjust, so both sit bones are on the mat. We're going to inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, hook the left elbow on the right knee as we twist. Starting from the belly button, twisting through the rib cage, shoulders, and then finally the head is the last thing to look over the shoulder, breathing in through the nose, lengthening the spine, and as you exhale, twist a little bit deeper. One more deep inhale, and as you exhale, come back through center. Take the hands to the left side, do a little mini push-ups, unwind that spine, come back through center. Extend both legs out towards the front of the mat. Shift your weight to those sit bones, cross the ankles over. We're gonna take the hands down to the mat, sweeping those legs behind, coming into our high plank position. Exhale, release downward facing dog. So we're gonna do that same sequence on the left side. The left leg extends behind, bend that left knee towards that left wrist, place it down on the mat, extending the right leg out, uncurl the toes. Inhale up, open the chest. Exhale, walk the hands down. Maybe you come down to your hand palms, your forearms, or maybe you can connect that forehead to the mat and just hold it here. Again, allowing gravity to pull you deeper into this, to the posture. to those hand palms, sweep that right leg in front. Take the sole of that left foot to the inside of the right thigh. <clears throat> Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, reaching for the right foot. Take the left hand to the outside of that left leg. So the sole of the foot is on the mat, then step the left foot over the right, bend the right knee, bring that heel close to the high knee. The left hand comes back as a kickstand. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, hook the right arm on that left knee. Twisting again from the belly button through the ribs. We're really lifting up out of the pelvis, shoulders, and then the last thing that goes is the head. Inhale, sit up nice and straight. Exhale, twist, 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 and come back through center. Inhale, take the hands over to the ground on the right side. Mini push-up is to untwist that spine. And go ahead and release those legs towards the front of the mat. Just shimmy, shimmy, shake them. And then go ahead and take the hands, palms facing up to the side. Slowly roll it down so we're on our back. Go ahead and readjust if you need to Center yourself on the mat. Just do a couple supine stretches here. You're gonna take the left hand to the top of that left foot, and then you're gonna take the peace fingers on that right hand, reach for the big toe, and go ahead and extend that heel up towards the ceiling. If you're like, I cannot reach my toe, go ahead and take the hands, interlace the fingers, and just bring them behind the thigh, or maybe the calf, and just gently pull forward as you're straightening that leg. So two things happening here, straightening the knee and or pulling gently. Face. And release the hands, release the foot if that's what you have. Slowly bring that leg back down to the mat. So we'll do the opposite side reaching for those the peace fingers for that big toe or maybe interlacing the fingers behind the thigh or the calf straightening the leg or gently pulling closer to your face
and exhale, release the bind, release the toe. Slowly bringing it down to the mat. You're gonna bend both knees, <clears throat> bring the soles of the feet to the mat. And we're just gonna come into a nice supine twist. So take the arms out to a nice strong T to the sides. <clears throat> Lift those feet, the heels come up. So we're at 90 degrees. And we're just gonna slowly with control, drop those legs over to the right side. Take the gaze to the left hand. You might wanna take the right hand to the outside of the left leg for a little overpressure. and release that hand if you have it. Inhale, bring those knees through the center using that core strength. We're gonna exhale the legs over to the left side. Take the gaze to the right. And again, over pressure, taking that left hand to the outside of the right leg if you like. And release the hand if you have it. Inhale, pull those legs through the center. This time we're gonna take the peace fingers on both the right and the left, reaching for those big toes. <clears throat> or you can take the insides or the outsides of the feet and just allow the knees to fall to the outsides of the rib cage for happy baby. Maybe you rock it side to side. <clears throat> we're gently pulling on those feet. So we're getting into the hips a little bit more. If you'd like to, you can always extend, coming into a straddle. And if the feet, kicking those feet up towards the ceiling, nice strong front of legs, back of legs, pulling those toes towards the shin, hands are to the sides, palms facing down, actively engaging the core, pulling the belly button tor towards the spine, towards the mat, exhale slowly with control, bring those heels down towards the mat. And once those heels hit, exhale, release the hips, feet fall open, hands slip over, palms facing up. Just gently close the eyes. We'll just take five nice deep breaths right here. And rolling over to that right side, using that right bicep as a pillow, left hand comes over as a kickstand. Just a second. And then gently pushing yourself up into a nice, easy seated pose. Sukhasana, crisscross applesauce, lotus or half lotus. You can take the hands to the knees, palms facing up, or bring them to heart center in prayer. Take a nice deep inhale, sitting up, and exhale. I hope you guys enjoyed this little flow with me. Remember to always be kind and patient with yourself and others. Namaste.